Hey everybody! So I am currently preparing the turkey pork burgers. They look like this right now. Basically on it right now, what I have is fresh onion and fresh garlic. I have also this Irish butter uh, that has garlic in it uh, instead of using oil, oregano, and then also the garlic powder, ginger, I also have parsley, and then of course fresh ground black pepper and pick pink Himalayan salt, can never forget that. And then also for the sides, I have here some red potatoes. I just cut them up and I added parsley and salt and pepper to them. And then I also have here uh, mushrooms and onions and then some of that butter <laughs> for them as well. Uh, these potatoes though, I used this new oil I found at the store. It's uh, basically sunflower, coconut, and avocado oil mixed together. So see what that does. I'm start now, I just wash my hands. It's always important to wash your hands before playing with food. So I'm just gonna take everything. I didn't show you guys last time how I mixed it. So I thought this time you guys can see my madness. Um, this time I'm just gonna mix everybody together and uh, we're just gonna have a little party. I put the butter in uh, when I was talking to the butcher at the grocery store. He was telling me about that butter. Um, it's an Irish butter and it has garlic in it. And I don't know, some people can't handle their garlic, but I sure love garlic more than anyone I know. I am a huge fan of Gilroy, Gilroy. I'm a huge fan of Gilroy. I uh, love me some garlic. <laughs> so basically I'm just mixing this in. Uh, this is, I don't know, a few pounds of meat. Who knows what the heck I'm doing here. But basically I uh, just take enough that fits in my hand and then I just go turn, turn, turn. Just throwing shit everywhere. Okay, so I'm just turn, 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 and bam, I got me a patty. So, okay, you can't see me throwing that, but yeah, that's the patty. So, I've never had a turkey pork burger before in like in my entire life. So I just, mm, I just thought to myself like, why not? This could be a thing. So I wanted to add obviously flavor to it because I don't really think of turkey and pork as having like lots of flavor in general. And so I just think to myself like, you know, why? And maybe I make my burgers larger than the average person. I don't know. I just think like if it's in my hand, that's a burger. Maybe this one's like too thick. I'm not really sure. Just gonna slap it a bit. There we go. Kind of trying to make them a little bit flatter <laughs> than from the last time. But then there's that whole thing of wanting to also keep it nice and juicy. Because um, I mean, I mean, I hate it when I go to burger places. And the burger is like insanely thin. It's just like, where's the meat, man? So that's just kind of how I feel about that subject. But uh, I'm not really a big fan of meatballs, but uh, I do love an oversized meatball that's flattened out a little bit. And we call it a burger. <laughs> Just slapping the meat. And I really, really like the uh, the onion in it last time, the fresh onion. 
So this time I decided like, hmm, I like that so much. Why not put some fresh garlic in it this time and uh, see how that goes. So I'm gonna steal from this one because that one seems a little greedy. And that one has now been fluffed up a little more. It's kind of like slapping the meat a little bit. Um, darn it, I gotta fix that one now. But uh, I don't know. This is just how I've uh, come up with a way to make burgers efficiently and uh, not have them be insanely small. Because I just don't dig that. <laughs> Maybe if you're feeding kids, uh, I would definitely make it smaller. You know, they eat a lot, but then at the same time, they do waste food sometimes. So I don't recommend uh, making giant burgers if you're feeding kids. Smaller, probably the better. Unless they're teenagers, that's a whole nother animal. All right. And yeah, if you're wondering, I have survived the toilet uh, paper apocalypse so far. Um, so far. So hopefully I will survive the rest of it, but uh, you never know, you know? Just appreciate what you have while you have it. So super important to be clean and wash your hands. People don't always get the whole concept of cleanliness, but uh, you can make people sick just by touching something raw and then not properly washing your hands and then get it on the food. Of course, the only person I'll be food poisoning today is myself, but uh, you know, that's not something I'm uh, a stranger to. <laughs> oh, I food poison myself plenty of times, but uh, not from my cooking, just from eating stuff probably like I should have eaten it. Like, you know, you just don't know where to stop. That's the problem. So I'm learning now as I'm getting older that uh, if it smells weird, don't eat it. If there's something furry on it, don't eat it. And always look at the food really really closely because you never know there could be something on it and uh it could be one little just fiber of whatever mold or something and yeah you'll be in the shitter for like days so i mean i haven't had that problem but i know people that have so you should be careful you know definitely be careful